Is the best player really some random dude out there that no one's ever heard of? Is it possible for someone to have the natural skill to be an experienced player in just a week of practice? I don't think so. Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you have any doubts, look at all these happy customers. There seems to be an idea amongst the GTA Online community, an idea that the best player is probably someone you've never heard of, and someone that doesn't publicise their skill on YouTube. While there is some merit to that, the likelihood of that actually being the case is quite slim. The thing is, people talk. If you beat a good player, your name is instantly on the map. It's hard to be that anonymous underdog that everyone thinks exists. Yes, there are still players that people don't really know that are very skilled, but I don't think it's possible for someone to achieve top tier status and just go completely unnoticed. That's why I find it strange when I get completely outskilled by someone neither me or the community has ever heard of. Surely if they're good enough to beat me, then they're good enough to be recognized. Now it's possible I've just had a bad day, or they're actually just better, but sometimes it's something a lot darker. It's not often I feel helpless when fighting someone, but when I was live streaming on the 13th of August 2022, I was. I knew I was rusty, but it's rare for something like this to happen. That was just a blow. Just a... What the f***? How? How the f*** did you get up there? Oh shit. Oh my god, this is actually AIDS. Sick. It's f***ing the boys. Do you in god mode? 3 0, cry. Give me the BST, give me the BST, give me the BST. Oh, I want BST. Oh, he's not in God mode, he's not even got BST. Bro, that's a waste of time. So, yeah, it looks like I'm just getting completely outskilled. I'm missing so many shots, I'm playing stupid and careless, and he seems to be playing the jet. And that's what I thought until this happened. Uh, okay, not in god mode, but uh, what what happened then? I don't know. So yeah, I've just hit him three times with a sniper, and not one of my bullets did any damage whatsoever. He then proceeds to one-shot me, but he's also not in god mode? Guys, how does this work? How's this? He's not in god mode, but how do I- what? I'm not doing any damage with my sniper. Guys, this is sussy behaviour. So according to my live stream chat, he's doing something called a freeze lag exploit. He momentarily disconnects himself from the server, so it's basically impossible for me to do any damage to him. From his point of view, I'm basically standing still, so I'm super easy to hit. He'll disconnect himself, shoot me a few times, then suicide, reconnect, and he's just giving himself a free kill. Sometimes they'll mess up, as seen here but it's so incredibly overpowered and there's basically nothing that I can do. It's disappointing because what I originally thought was going to be a challenging fight with a skilled opponent was now just a fight with essentially a cheater. The last video on my channel shows a more obnoxious way of using this glitch, but it's arguably not as bad as what's coming up. Do I get the kill? That's no, I don't, bro. This, what the f***? What is going on? Back in 2020, I was probably at my best on PC. I could beat most top players and considered myself the head god. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Sorry, the headshot god. I even beat you versus pro, which was solely down to the fact I was so good at headshotting back then. After riding on a wave of basically never being beaten in 1v1s, it came to me as a shock when I suddenly found my match. He goes by Killzone. Like many people, he started playing GTA Online on Xbox and then decided to move to PC later on. Also, like many people, he seemed to be interested in getting a mod menu, supposedly for protection. Now, this isn't a bad idea, but there's always that temptation to use the menu's other features. That's why I never use them. But anyway, two days later, he decides to pull through and get the menu. Now, even though I knew he had a menu, I still decided to practice with him because I believed he'd only use it for protection. Let's see what happens. <laughs> So Killzone, who already has experience on Xbox, is using a controller in this fight. You can also tell from his point of view that he's not using any mods. You can see in this clip that his gun doesn't automatically shoot when his crosshair is over me. There are a few frames where he's just waiting. Now this is a sign that someone isn't using Triggerbot. You can also tell that he's getting his kills from decent crosshair placement and accurate drag scopes. Not all of his kills are from random lucky flicks. 
Now back to my POV. You can see that I'm hitting some pretty fast shots and my movement is pretty controlled. This is what it looks like when you've got plenty of experience with a keyboard and mouse. And this really showed because throughout the entire fight I was dominated. Play a fucking hard one, dear. So did you too. So yeah, you can see that 1v1 was pretty one-sided. I basically dominated the entire fight. But that wouldn't be the last of our 1v1s. We'd 1v1 again, and this time he would play on mouse and keyboard. Contrary to popular belief, mouse and keyboard isn't instant aimbot. You aren't instantly a guard when you switch. But that's not what happened here. All of a sudden, every single kill he gets, he hits the most insane flicks you've ever seen. You'll also see he shoots the exact millisecond that I peak. Has he all of a sudden just become a god at sniping? Or is something else going on? You shouldn't let the fact that I won the fight cloud your judgement on what's actually going on. Let's have a look. In this time, he also fought another YouTuber called OP Jaden X. Um, was it me or did that look kind of weird? It looks like he's shooting while aiming in, which is impossible, but not if you've got Triggerbot. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt, surely there's no other damning evidence near. Wait, that kind of looked weird as well. It looks like he shot while he was rolling. And then it happens again? Let's see what he has to say. I tell him that's only happened to me when I've had Triggerbot on, and he just says, oh, that's weird. He then says he has no idea how he did it, and he's also going to try and recreate it on a pedestrian to prove that he's not modern. Not the best proof, but he never sent it. So at the moment we've got the sudden increase in skill, the millimetre accurate shot, and then the shooting while rolling and shooting while aiming in. 
Now that I have my suspicions, I'm trying to catch him out. He then goes to fight another top sniper, who goes by Ghost and is in one of the best sniping crews on GTA. He beat him 100 to 76, which is ridiculous against a sniper that's already so good. Even Ghost was suspicious because his aim was just so accurate. Let's see Ghost's point of view. Ghost then asks Killzone what his sensitivity is, and this is another time where I think he might slip up. I play on 250 DPI. <laughs> slow as fuck. Now, I'm not sure if any of you guys know, but 250 DPI is incredibly slow. This is 250 DPI. I'm aiming in here. Let's see how many... See how long it takes me to do a 360. Two. Three. Four. Four. Four mouse pads. Not like four mouse pads, but like, yeah. So you're gonna have to have some pretty big mouse pad room, right? Uh, no, he doesn't. It's absolutely tiny. There's no way that anyone with that mouse pad room could play on 250 DPI. Also, with 250 DPI, you wouldn't expect his aim to be shaky, but it is. It's clear that he's not actually playing on 250 DPI. You can also see in this clip, it looks like he's purposely keeping his mouse out of the way so it doesn't kill him really fast. Another thing that he does is he seems to shake his mouse on purpose. He probably sees some top players do it and tries to emulate it, which is why it looks so erratic and unnatural. Here you can see I do it and it looks quite controlled. I'm only really doing it to set myself up for a drag scope. If I was truly trying hard, I wouldn't bother. But anyway, it's clear that quite a few people think that it's trigger bottom at this point, and the best way to do that is just to show the raw footage. Unsurprisingly, he said he deleted it, but he said he deleted it when he cleaned out his desktop, but why didn't he delete the old footage of when he fought me when he was on controller? But then again, if you do have the raw footage of you using aimbot, you wouldn't want to show that. If you can't present raw footage of him winning a fight, the best way is to show him live streaming. This way we can compare his skill on stream to what he shows in his videos, where he's edited all the dodgy stuff out. He tries to get out of it by making various excuses, but eventually he agrees to doing it.
so from going toe to toe with me and even beating me at some points, as soon as he has to show his perspective, his skill just completely plummets. The problem with Killzone is that his incredibly consistent pro level aim when he fights off stream, he easily beats renowned snipers including myself by about 10 plus kills. As soon as he streams his gameplay or has to go back to the raw footage, his aim goes back to average. I have a theory that he would use mods when not sharing his gameplay to try and gain notoriety and attention for his, albeit fake, skill. We 1v1 would a few times when only I was streaming and all of these times he would beat me or the score would be within 5 kills. He would hope that people watching the stream would think that he's a god tier player and subscribe to him. Unfortunately, he could never beat me when his footage was being either streamed or the whole raw recording was shown. If it wasn't for the footage against OPJ and X, I'd just be very suspicious. Triggerbot is such a hard thing to prove unless they slip up, but with all the evidence I have collected, I'm almost certain he used Aimbot or Triggerbot to win the fights that he won, which is such a shame. This next encounter comes on the 10th of March 2023. There's a guy whose name I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce on an oppressor and is going around killing a few people. I decide to go near and try and get a nice clip. Fuck off. Oh my god, there's no way. He doesn't seem to be very happy that I killed him. I mean, rightfully so. But then he decides to come over. So here my sticky bomb actually goes through the floor so I can't suicide, oh no, but I can tell what kind of fight this is going to be so I decide to teleport away and go to the beach. He also joins me at the beach, he gets a few, he gets a few kills on me on this oppressor and then he goes on ground. Oh my god, and he goes straight back on. So yeah, I was kind of getting clapped by the oppressor, but my theory was if I could get him on ground, I could be the one that prevails in this fight. So when this happened, I just thought it was a guy off the radar griefing me with a pump shotgun that had explosive ammo. I mean, that's what anyone else would think, right? Instead, it was actually his pump shotgun. He accidentally switches to it and shoots me from that range, which is impossible, but only if you don't have mods. For the rest of the fight, I just ignored that because I didn't think it was him. I just thought he was someone who happened to have really good aim, someone that was an unknown sniper god, but after slowing that down and realizing what actually happened, it made me realize that he was most likely using some sort of mod menu. Now, if he's got mods to shoot at me from that distance with a pump, it wouldn't surprise me if the reason why his aim was so good was down to mods as well. 
Another thing is, is when someone's using Trigger Bot, their aim sucks at long distance, which is what happened with this guy. When we were close, his aim was incredible, but as soon as we got far, he was missing loads and loads of shots. The problem is, people can be really fast on PC, and it's super hard to tell who's Trigger Bot and who's not. The only way to find out, really, is by looking at their POV, but no one ever records it. You just have to hope that they slip up at some point, so then you've got some closure on what's actually happening. Anyway, I'll play the rest of the 1v1. Let me know what you think down below. Peace. She hit mark at him. I'm fucking blind. What the fuck is he? Sick man, sick. Okay. And now we've got aim for it. Like, <laughs> I just can't see him. You just constantly being able to see me. I can't fucking see him. Watch, I've probably been seeing him now. Oh, but I literally can't even see you. Pretty gay. Yeah, I literally, he's not even in my draw distance, man. He's not, look, now I got my thermal on, I'll zoom in and he'll be right there. Uh, yeah, I actually fucking despise this guy. The hit marker. Third person straight.
shit. Oh shit. So yeah, like most things in GTA, it just gets ruined by a modder. Well, at least a more obvious one. Unfortunately, the fight ends there. But again, it's a shame because I thought this guy was just another good player. But when I go back in time and look at what actually happened, how he shot me with the pump, and how his aim was just insane up close and then awful at far distance, I wouldn't be surprised if he was actually trigger botting. But again, there's no way of knowing unless we see his point of view. 